What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I tell you, today represents the day that the Lord has made, and we shall, we shall rejoice and be glad. Come on, let's take time to pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come. Lord, on this 10th day of the first uh, month of the year, God, I pray in 2021 that, Lord, you would continue to show us the season. You would continue to, oh, create, God, originate, God, put the things that are necessary for each and every one of us to trust you. Lord, I thank you for what you have prepared us for for such a time as now. Now give us, God, give us this day your daily bread. And Lord, I daily bread, allow us to feast upon it because of what it represents in our spirit, man, and what it will actually help us to become in the mortal man. Lord, I pray that as we act out the word, as the word of God becomes real, and as we trust the word of God, Lord, show us, God, everything that we need, God, to, to see what we are looking at, to listen for what we have heard, and, Lord, to create right now, Lord, an opportunity, Lord, to win souls, to, to Lord, reach loss. God, I pray that as we are, are, are looking at an inward strong and we are providing God an outward strength to our way looking focusedly, Lord, outwardly. I pray, God, that we will so uh, be given the ability, God, to reach a life, to reach a soul, reach that homeless, reach that God, that person that's in the hospital, God. I just pray that are, are suck for COVID. Lord, I just know that, Lord, there's things that you have given us, God. Now, give us the... Uh, the resources, and Lord, I, I pray in, in some cases the resources are there, but Lord, give us the wisdom and the wherewithal to use it. Lord, I ask that you would forgive me of my sins, and Lord, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I thank you right now for this day that you have made. In Jesus' name, amen. What a mighty God we serve. We started something on Wednesday, and I just want to really reiterate the fact that we serve a God of preparation. And I know you've heard me say that before, but I'm telling you like never before, this time that we're in, this season that we're in, and some of us are going through some trying times. Some of us are going through things that we thought we never would have to go to. But I am saying to you, continue to trust God. And I want us to go back to our scripture in the book of uh, First Peter. First Peter Three and I, I, I don't want to read all the what we did last week, but I want to recap on some things and I want to uh, uh, move from there because I, I, I think it's important that we recognize what he's saying, not only f according to faith, but what he says according to how we are looking at what we inherited as a result of our faith in our, our, our um, salvation. And look at look at ver uh, part B of, uh, of, of verse three. It says says now. We live with great expectations, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, for me. I like that. Pure and undefiled, <laughs> beyond the reach of the change and de <laughs> decay. Now, remember, we, we have an inheritance because we're heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. That's our inheritance. Now, when we talk about the inheritance aspect of it, we need to know and, and embrace it for what that represents by knowing that, listen, when you give your life to Christ, when you start to really trust God after the salvation, there's no change in God. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. And there's no change. And decay means stuff will start to deteriorate. With God, there's no deterioration uh, because of what you are actually inheriting. I, and, and we'll talk about that in a few seconds in a minute. In, in, in verse 5, it says, and, and through your faith, your faith. Remember, faith is something things hope for and the evidence of things not seen. It says, through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive the salvation. In other words, until it all comes to complete fruition, God is protecting you because of what your faith <laughs> lies within the Word of God and, and, and the relationship that the Word of God will establish. Now, when, when, it, when it talks about uh, ready, which is ready to be revealed at the last day for all to see, it's saying, look, if you trust God, when this thing is all over, Everyone will see 
what that trust produce. And what that trust will produce, listen, is eternal. I said it's internal. In verse 6 it says, so be truly glad. There is a wonderful joy ahead. A wonderful joy ahead. Even though you must endure many trials for a little while. Mm. Now, here, here, right, let, me, let, me, let me say this. We're going to go through. The Bible even said, count it not strange concerning fire trials that come try you as though there's some strange thing. So we're going to go through. There's things that we're, 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 not, we're not prepared to go through because, I mean, we're not listening. But then there's other things that we are prepared. And watch this. You can't keep fu- get frustrated because you're going through something that you didn't prepare for or something that you really, did, did, I mean, come on. Sometimes we get a, a surprised by different things in our lives that we say, why now? What? Uh, listen, God wants you to trust him. He wants you to embrace him because he's a God oh, that will, will bring you through. He's protecting you. He, he'll, he'll bring it through. He's, it's, 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 it's good to know because in verse uh, 7, it says, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. Ah, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. In other words, when you look at how much you're going through and how you are operating, how you're conducting your life, how things as a result of what you've, you've, you've you, I mean, there's some things that others will not be okay with. You are okay with because you know and trust God that this God will see you through. And if you can grasp that, that this God will uh, see me through, how much more? When somebody see that you took on, you took on this trial, you took on this tribulation, you took on this situation, this circumstances, and you held your ground, you, you stood and you stepped. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to show you today how there's different things that you can come and become a part of. And if you would do, uh, just, just, just look at where God is in it, they go, where is Jesus in but if you would look at where he's in it, you will not, oh, you will not falter. You will not change. Everything around you will, will, will dec- become the decomposed, but you will stay fresh. You will stay according to the things that the word of God says, and you'll be vigilant. Oh, ah, yeah, we, we'll, we'll talk about that. Now, in, 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 in looking at this, it says in verse in, in, in first seven, it says, these trials will show your 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 faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire. Tested and purified gold. Let me say that again. It, 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 it is being, your, 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 I mean when we talk about genuine, when you talk about real, when we talk about something that, uh, that is authentic, it says it being tested. Amen. Faith is genuine. <laughs> it's being tested as fire. Test, test, plural, and purifies gold. As purify gold. Now, le- le- you know, we, we, I don't want to talk about gold because last week we talked a little, uh, 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 um, when on Wednesday we talked about there's no comparison. But what I want to say is we, when we look at purify gold, that's when we look at the most expensive, the most priceless, the most genuine. When you start looking at what God has done for your life, when you start to recognize, listen, sometimes we don't even do the right thing. Sometimes we are trying to do the right thing, and we're stumbling and bumbling through our circumstances and situation. I mean, it, it we know that our season hasn't left because we have been uh, 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 compromising. We've been, oh, uh, we've been uh, sacrificing for the wrong reason. When we really recognize how much our faith in God has begun to really unravel and unfold, fold the very things that God said he'll do for us all of a sudden you are fine the purity you you see the fire you see the test you see how the enemy is oh he's throwing everything he can at you but you know that God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you and if he be for you who can be against it so you're looking at how much this thing is is is, is trying me but because it's trying me it doesn't mean I'm going to give in or give up but I'm going to step Yes, I'm going to step. And once I step, 
it's, it, 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 it starts to change things. A step will start to change things. It's a, a, a step in the process of moving is the best thing that going forward. Remember when we talked about one step, two step, when we start talking about if you if you taking two steps at the same time, you're not you're not you're not stepping, you're hopping. And you got to make sure you're not hopping into something. You want to step according to what's there. And so if, if you need to, you can back off of some to a step. But when you hop into it, you are put it you're putting everything before you into whatever you are hopping toward. What God wants us to do is trust him. Let him go before us as we go. As he goes before us, we should take on a stance that says, if God be for me, who can be against me? We need, to, we need to take a step back and allow that which God is doing to, oh, to fully uh, uh, envelop who we are, but it also let it develop. Let it create a preparation. Let it create a revealing of what God wants us to do because of where we have become. Oh, the things that we are needed to be as a result of what he says, now we're going to do this thing. And I'm telling you, look at, look at how you and I really work in prayer okay let me let me let me say this sometimes we don't pray until after something happens preparation or a time of preparation will allow you to pray before it happens and in most cases if you got a ch- you got an opportunity to pray when you begin to actually unfold oh my goodness the the, the very spiritual implications of things you will see through your listening, how much God has already given you a path. Oh, he give you a path. And sometimes it's not the path of least resistance, but it's the path that speaks volume of the enemy can't. Oh, let me listen. The scripture says if we resist the devil, he'll flee. So that means we have to take on some of the things that the enemy has prevented or of us from doing or provide us to stumble, we need to take a moment and say, I refuse to accept what the enemy has to offer. And we talked about the uh, uh, five declarations, and, and we, we'll, we'll get into a few of them today. But I look, I, I'm been looking at the test and the, f- and the fire that comes with a trial. And I'm telling you, sometimes we are looking for God. Oh, oh, he, we're looking for him to do the things that we want him to do when we want him to do it and how we want to do it. But I'm telling you, if we would be led by the spirit according to what God wants us to see in the fullness, oh, the purification that comes in, the sanctification that would come. Oh, the being set apart, the being, uh, oh, the things that you will need and the things that I will need to actually overcome that which the enemy has, oh, thrown before us. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for God this year. I really am. I'm looking for God to take me to a place that I've never been before. I'm looking to be able to see things that I didn't thought were possible to the naked eye to see because I'm looking in my spiritual man and I'm looking for that man in me that that Jesus has opened up and has has revealed and that has now took taken the step. Oh, the step in creating the new man. Remember any man being Christ. He's a new creation. All things have passed away. And behold, all things become new. That's what Second Corinthians five seventeen speaks of. And I'm telling you right now, there's 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 something about recognizing how much the new man wants to walk oh, in our daily lives without any oh without any hesitations. And when we talk of any hesitation, we need to look at part B of this. Says, so when your faith remains strong through many trials. It will bring you much praise Mm. and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. Uh, Jesus will reveal. He will be revealed before the whole world. And aren't you thankful as a believer that you're going to be revealed with him? The scripture said we'll be like him. And when you think about that, you have to recognize the reason we'll be like him is because of what the word of God says. The word of God says, says, now listen, the word of God says, if, if uh, heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will stand forever. Now, when you look at that, the word is Jesus. I said the word is Jesus according to John 1. 
The word is Jesus. And when we start talking about the word of God, we start talking from the standpoint of what it actually represents in our life daily. Not every now and then or when it's convenient, but every day. And we have to oh take, take on that. Take on that. Now we're going to talk about how the word of God should be alerted in our lives in, 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 a, in a few minutes. Okay. Look at verse 8. It says, and you, you loved him even though you have never seen him. You and I. That's why we serve God. Oh, the scripture even says, <coughs> while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And he died for us because of how he, oh, <laughs> through his father, was given, oh, a purpose, was given an assignment, was given, oh, the things that you and I right now, oh, we, <laughs> we embrace because of what he has done and what he is doing and what he will do as a result of our obedience to him. And let me, let me without getting into in that uh, uh, and getting off, I, wanna, I, w- I want you to know that you should never, I should never, Take for granted what Jesus has done, no matter what we see and how it's being looked upon. We shouldn't take for granted what has already taken place, because if we, when we do, we'll lose sight of it because it's, it, or it, we, it becomes, uh, uh, we become numb to all the things that happen. For example, there's things in my life that, I tell you, they are testimonies that I haven't told in a long time. I mean, I have, have, have looked at the different things that God has done, uh, how God pulled a tumor out of the back of my head, and I, how God has done a, a lot of things. And sometimes I don't, uh, um, uh, until somebody asks me, hey, what's, what happened with the, with, 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 the, with the key Lord that's in the back? I mean, there's different things that we need to really take advantage of that God has done in our lives. He pr- and I, I'm telling you, there's things that you can do as a result of how God put your testimony together. Yeah, let me say how he put your testimony together. If you tell it like God gave it, then you will find out how effective it has become because you're telling it the way God provided it. Then it becomes genuine because not that says your trial went through oh, with God. And it, when, it, when it went through God, the ending product, what happened at the end makes all the sense of how God used what he has pr- produced on numerous occasions in our life. That which will help someone else become oh, like us in trusting God. My goodness. This, it says, though you do not see him now, you trust him. You don't see him, but you trust him. You rejoice with him or you rejoice with a a glorious, inexpressible joy. Inexpressible. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you can't, can't even uh, describe it. You can't even, I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's has been so uh, overwhelming. It's, 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 it's not something that, that's why we have to keep in mind the joy of the Lord is our strength. Now, I want to focus, uh, focus uh, 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 this morning on on verse um, nine, and I'm going to put some things in perspective according to the step that I started, because I think the year of 2021 is a year step. And when we talk of step, we're talking about how when you uh, take a step, you're taking a stand. And when you're taking a stand, sometimes you have to recognize what comes with a stand. And if you can take a stand and move oh, and stay in that 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 vein of how the step represents, oh, something significant for what God wants to do. And I mean, listen, anytime you do something that is going to make a, a difference in the life of those uh, that are around you, in the life of those, God, both globally, uh, locally, translocally, then you have to know that there's things that you and I pray for even today that affects even people over overseas. There's people that I know that are in, in, in Germany, in, in, in the different parts of, uh, 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 of the world that are looking and asking for prayer for certain things. I don't take it for granted. When they ask for prayer, I pray. And because I believe in God that that time of prayer is going to protect them. That time of prayer is going to help them become purified in the trial that they are. That trial is going to actually take on a new look. And what it's going to do is it's going to oh, determine, in some cases, s- someone's life, someone's, oh, their ability to actually see God 
and see him for what he has become in their lives. Now, look at verse 9. It says the reward for trusting him will be the salvation of your soul. Now, we, I, I, I'm going to add some things from here because salvation was something even the prophets wanted to know more about. When they prophesied about his gracious oh, salvation prepared for you. This prepared for you. Now, he, they hear they prophesied. And in other words, there was a th thing that they were saying that they didn't get a chance to even see come to pass. But yet they didn't even see the salvation in it. They just knew that it was going to be there. They can't see it because it has, that hasn't happened. How much more that there's things that you and I are going to give, be given. Oh, we're going to be prophesying. We're going to be speaking of because of we have the, having the ear to hear what God is saying. And God is using as a time as a using what words in that, that prediction, that, that prophecy as a means for knowing what it is. That's why I said you got to make sure you are hearing the word of God. But you also need to know when you listen for what you're hearing that God will orchestrate and he will prepare you for what you for, for what you are listening for so that when the time comes in the situation that uh, or, or, or you, you and I are being challenged with or some of the things that others are being challenged that's why I said sometimes we don't see how much we have become an assistant in somebody else's faith let me say that again we have become an assistant in someone else's faith in other words, we sometimes we are that 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 extra step. We're that step that pushes them to oh my goodness in the in the way that we we don't even understand sometimes. It's just enough to push them to out of the one place or the one area that they're stuck in into the place that they can now grab and embrace it. And remember salvation again. Salvation if we trust. In God, it's, this, this is reward. Now, when, 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 we, when, when we talk of reward, everyone wants a reward. We want a good reward. We don't want consequences. We, I said we want reward. We don't want consequences. And when we want reward, we like to use those rewards as opportunities oh, to testify. As, I mean, we're overcome by the words of our testimony. Through the blood of the Lamb. I mean, it's, it's, it's something to know that the Word of God has so given us Oh, I, I, I'm telling you, G Jesus in my life has been a, 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 an incredible, a incredible change, an incredible opportunity now to create change, to originate. Oh, listen, you, you and I look for what we can do to bring increase in our lives. If you're not, you should. And that's important. Because you want, you want self-improvement. You want to take opportunity that's going to bring a better look at what life has. Remember outlook, outcome? When you start looking at outlook, you have to embrace the outcome because the outlook is what you're going to use uh, to travel to outcome. And that's just what I, I, I'm just, I believe that God has, has provided us with purpose. But I'm telling you, the will of God is how you and I journey to our destiny through the purpose that God has, has, has established for. So when we look at salvation, salvation is what you and I need to help us when we are looking at how much God is, 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 has so implemented opportunities. He's implemented his, his will his purpose in our life to so that we can actually and he not only in, 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 in implemented his will and purpose but his love and we know in romans it says and we know all things work together for those that what love god and are called according to his purpose so there's things that you and i must recognize that love encompass that faith encompass oh that obedience encompass that faith encompass. When you put all those together, then you start to see how much trusting God will produce a salvation or a reward for salvation. And that's why I said there's a reward for, 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 for trusting God from the scripture. But how much more do we need to understand what that trust looks like? What God wants us to see it, it as, as in what you and I are going to do daily. The, when you and I get up in the morning, 
when we see what life has to offer. How many get excited? Well, how many you say, my goodness, here we go again. In other words, you have, a, you have, you have the ability to your decision making, to your decision making process to determine whether you're going to be positive or whether you're going to be negative. And if you are positive, what you're going to see, regardless of the negativity, the positive, oh, the, the I mean, you say, oh, that, that positive thinking. No, I'm telling you right now, if you know what the Word of God says, it's not positive thinking as much as it's trusting in what the Word of God has provided you to make sure that what you are saying and how it's been said is something that you can trust. And it's something that God is, is, is putting before you because he knows what your needs are. And because he knows what your needs are, he's looking at how you are going to handle all the things that you're going to go through. Again, we're, 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 we're a part of a God that's a God of preparation. And what that says is if you have salvation on board, you have been prepared. And your preparation for what God. Now think about this. Because when you start talking about how God has done things in your life, have you ever looked back on how that thing happened, but then you took a step further and went back to the origin and you began to actually work your way to the end of the matter? We always talk about the, uh, the beginning, and that's very sweet, especially when it's a path that God placed you on. But we always look at the word. The word of God says the end of the matter is greater than the beginning. So if that's true, then sometimes we need to be mindful that that was a process that get, gets you to a point to trust God so that the process could be completed. And I'm saying this morning that there's so much in your life that God has started. And I'm a, I am want you to know if God started, he's here with you, with your help. To finish it. I, uh, yeah, to finish it. And I am saying when we finish something, that's faith. Because now we are, we, we are really become motivated to yet do again. And when you come motivated to do yet again, what you're doing is, 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 is you establishing a, a stronger a relationship. Oh, a, a stronger relationship. We say two are better than one because they have a greater reward. But we don't always say how much that three quarters uh, not easy in Brooklyn. In other words, when we we when we when we God has given us people in our lives, and it's created a, a a single strand rope. How much more when we give God an opportunity to work in that that relationship with the two, that rope, that st three strand, it becomes strong. It becomes something that not only you are holding on to, but somebody else that doesn't have it can actually grab a hold to it and be it. And we're, we, we, we are looking for God this year to actually take us to a place where we are understanding that because the season that God has in it need to be understood and known, how much more should we recognize what God is doing as a result? Oh, as a result of how he has prepared us. Uh, I was... Uh, um. Um, looking at some of the things in my life this um, past week, and I, I've been I've been saying, Lord, why this or why that? I, you know, sometimes I get I get into this. Okay, God, help me, because this is this still is a struggle in my life. But this still is something that I need to work through. And I just I mean I I wanna I s wanna say to God, and I, well, I don't say I wanna say I say to God, Lord, I just uh, th I wanna be done with this. And there's some things that I, I get, I get it, psh, but there's other things I see God's process. I see His preparation. I see how He's taking me, so that there's things that I not only uh, am I going to be successful in the end, but how I'm going to take two or three people with me because not only will they see it, but they're going to rejoice with me. They're going to bring glory to the name of. Uh, 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 name of the Lord because they see the fullness of what God has for I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about how God would do what he said he would do as a result of our uh, conduct in o obedience. Now we have to bring things into perspective and I, I want to really create 
and bring understanding that 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 when you start talking about the year 2021 and we talked about it last week as uh, two years combining into one to remind us we are still dealing with the acts of 20 in 21 and we said we we talked about the step uh, and we talked about being sober we talked about being uh, uh, um, uh, temperate we talked about established and we talked about p- plausible being plausible and and when you look at at, at sober being alert now the the the, 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 the in the word step the s stands for uh, um uh sober but i want to use the word alert because some of the translation said alert some of the say translate uh, um says uh uh, um, sober, but we'll get to that in a minute. But I want to want us to look at it from the standpoint when you are alerted, you never know. Okay, in most cases, what you're being alerted. I w- just in this this week alone. I mean, I, I just want to want to reiterate something. Then just 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 alone this week alone, there's been amber alerts. Now watch this. You sitting down and you just I mean you're going by business. As usual, when all of a sudden this black, black, I mean, it just, uh, it's, it's, it, it, you, I mean, it, it, it jokes you. I mean, you, I mean, and watch this. When you hear, because you've heard it before in most cases, but even if you hadn't heard it before, you immediately know, oh, something's not right. I mean, it gives this, I mean, heinous, it gives this, Oh, this disgusted. Why? Because they want you to recognize there's something going on that you need to be alerted because through your alertness, some life could be changed. Some life could be, oh, moved out of harm's way and into or given a, a, an opportunity to go back to where they were either taken from or, oh, amen. I, I, I just, I, I'm telling you, and it's just like the alarm clock. You said it, okay? And, 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 and alarm clocks are time sensitive. You set the time. And so when it goes off, it's not asking you uh, um, um, what to do. It's doing what you, uh, amen, program it to do. And let me say this. The word of God should be an alert. It should be something that sounds off every day you get up. It should be an alert that speaks of what God wants to do in a given day. And if it is, you will begin to recognize, oh, every time that there's something not right, every time that there's something, there will be no compromise. There will be, yes, you will definitely look at it and says, I'm, 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 listen, that, that is not something that I'm, because the word of God has alerted me to it. But if you don't have, Okay, this thing with the Amber Alert, if you have your phone off, then you're not going to get it. It doesn't turn it on. At least I, my phone has never been turned off, turned on as a result of the la- Amber Alert. It has to be on. And sometimes we're not on. Sometimes we're off. And because we're off, we don't get the fullness of what God's trying to do because we're not looking for it. We're not prepared for it. And let me say this, preparation is the best, best Think about this. It's the best. <laughs> uh, 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 f- formula for win. If you are prepared. <laughs> you are have a better opportunity for winning. Versus I- if you're not prepared. If you're not prepared. Then your chances of losing. Or your chances of failing. Increases. What God wants us to do is allow our time with him or every day to be something that he's preparing for both today and tomorrow. You can't do anything about yesterday, but you can allow God to be what you need, what I need to help us in this day. Remember when we start talking about temper, we start talking about what what God's pleasure street is or what we need in terms of when we're looking at the step. Sometimes God don't want you to say things. Be quick to hear and slow to speak. This year, we, <laughs> when we want to get, give God our season, when we want to create in us the things that God wants us to have as a result of what he's done uh, over yesterday and uh, 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 
the prepare preparation for tomorrow, then we need to recognize that God has given us oh the temperament for it. And when you start looking at your temperament for it, it's a part of the step. It's a part of that that moving forward. It's a part of that 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 stepping up. And when we talk about step up, eventually I'm going to get to stepping out. Because, but when you step up, you are looking at what you're going to do in the step out portion of it. And then there's the E. The E is established. When you start talking about establishment, you, 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 you start looking at the origin or the rich. When you start talking about a something that's been established, you, you really look at something that is smart, something that has, has been in a, in a place where it's positioned to be worked from because it's it's an established thing when you have an established thing then you don't you're not tr you're not spending time establishing it's already there and when it's already there then uh, listen you gotta know that that which <laughs> is in god is <coughs> anything in god is established yeah it's established and when it's established in god then it, it, it is it's truth it's the way and it's the life when it's establishing God. And that's why when Jesus came that we have life and life more abundant, it's because he had established us to have life in the midst of death. Oh, when Adam sinned, he sent a death. The death that was, we all talk about, it wasn't a physical death in the garden, but it was a spiritual death. And what the enemy wants us to do is continue to die spiritually and not have relationship with God. When that happens, then we don't see all that God has for us and when we don't see all that God has for you we have to look at it from the standpoint he is looking oh to separate us from the relationship and from the love of God and then it's plausible and when you talk about plausible you're talking about the credibility and when you talk about in the step you got to know when you're stepping it's got to be credible because if it's credible then people are looking at the credibility of where you're going and what that looks like for their lives oh there's so many people that are or looking at your life. They're looking at how you are doing things. And I say when we're looking at 2021, we have to establish ourselves as a, 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 a person that that's alert, a person that watches, a person that listen, and a person that pray. So when we stop in the alert, we are watching and when we are watching we are we are, we are, we are alert at what we are seeing and then we are listening for what that means now that we have been introduced or we've been exposed to something but most of all once we are listening for it we got to pray and when you pray you believe in God for some things that hey only God should be the answer amen God should be the answer Remember what your feet will grow and what your star will die? Let, let's, let's go there for just a second because I'm, I'm almost done. I just need to create something. What your feet will grow and what your star will die. You said that, Pastor, we've been talking about this feed, grow, star. L listen, a part of being uh, uh, successful is feeding what will create success. We say bless. We're blessed. We're programmed to succeed. So watch this. Just because you're programmed to succeed, it doesn't mean it stops there. When you're programmed to succeed, you have to make sure you continue to do your part to, to bring that to fruition. If you just say, I am programmed to succeed, and you don't do anything far, farther, then what you're really saying is, uh, God's going to do it for me. He's going to do it. And the enemy is, is, is having a heyday. He's having a, a field day with that because what that says is, <laughs> you don't get it. You and I don't see it for what it is because there's action. That's why it talked about faith without works is dead. And that's why when we look at First Peter 5 and 8, because the enemy really looks at how you and I do things. And it says in, in First Peter 5 and 8, it says, Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. He's looking for someone to bow. Why? Because he needs to make sure we are coming, continue to be a dis disappointment to God. I mean, that's what Adam and Eve was. They were a disappointment to God. He succeeded. And how he succeeded was because they lost sight. When they lost sight of the things that are, are needed, they put those things in, 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 
in a place that could not be uh, uh, taken by anyone but themselves. Now, let me say that again. They put things in a place where no one can take it but themselves. Now, what I'm saying with that is God set us up. He set Adam and Eve up. He gave, he gave him dominion over the earth. He gave him dimension over fish of the sea and all that. I mean, so if they had dominion, why is she listening to a beast of the field? So you can see that it wasn't God. It wasn't even the, uh, the serpent. It was the fact that she listened to something that she had dominion over. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, we need to look at how God has put us in such an a, a, a awesome position to succeed. And we need to recognize through that we can be more than conquerors. Now, I want to I uh, close with this. When we look at 1 Peter 1, 1 Peter 5 and 1, we have to look at this. I mean, I'm, I'm looking, looking at verse uh, um, um, 5. Let me, let's look at verse 5 in closing. Look at verse 5. It says, Likewise, your young people submit yourself to your elders. Yes, all of you be submitted to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. And I want to stop right there. And I want to I really say something, and I want to put, put it together in, 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 in understanding, because I, I did the um, um, rehashing and bringing to a point where, where we pick up this next, we're going to talk about how, as, as, as believers, there's process in how we're going to address 2021. And I believe that when we l begin to look at humility, when we begin to look at how many things in our lives that we are going to need to help us with that, we need that step. We need that, that uh, ability to, to actually humble ourselves and how God wants to exalt us. And we need to cast our cares upon him for he cares for us. And how we do that is, is, is letting him have an opportunity to do the things that we know. So I want to say this. You have the ability through what God has provided you to actually see what he's saying, how he's saying it, where he's going with it. And because of that, listen, you are going to have things that will come to you and they are going to come in such a way that God is saying, hey, give, oh, give it to me. I'll help you with it. My faith, oh, my faithfulness is to help you become faithful. Yes. God is faithful, and his faithfulness will help our faith. <laughs> and our faith will cause us to trust him. And when we trust him, well, it, it even says, it says without faith, it's impossible to please God. So when you look at all these things that we talked about this morning, you have to recognize God has taken us to the place that we need to be in his word. Regardless if we're there or not, he's already provided us with the word that will get us there. And if that's true, then we have to trust the word. We have to, oh, allow the word of God to be what he said it would be. Oh, I tell you, I am looking forward to having those things that God has given me, given you, to become a part of what we need to uh, overcome some of the things that we're going to be uh, uh, a part of this year. Let God be God. And let God be our, oh, everything, because we trust him. And when we obey in him <laughs> oh when we obey in him then is by him oh we live and have our being and when that happens then watch this you're going to see a greater oh a greater victory in your life because of who god has been allowed to be oh let's take time to pray father right now we love you and we say thank you lord i pray god that you were so oh take us to the place that we need to be help us to see god that which you've orchestrated. Lord, I thank you for everything that you've created in our lives. Oh, for what, Lord, we are going to do this year to move God and create or change an opportunity for life to be changed. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. What a mighty God we serve. And I want you to know that you can give your life to Christ if you so desire. All you have to do is ask God to forgive you of your sins. All you got to do is believe Christ died on the cross 
and rose on the third day for you. Yeah. You got to believe that because with the heart, man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. If you do that, then Christ will become in your heart and he will be there for you. Let's take time to pray. Father, right now, we just love you and we thank you for everything that you represent, everything that, Lord, you now have given us. Lord, we pray for our president. We pray, God, for his family. We pray for our military, the men and women that serve. Lord, I pray that you would move right now. And, and Lord, as, as the Hendersons are transitioning, I pray, God, that you would move and touch them, God, and move oh, mightily upon their lives right now, God. Oh, prepare where they're going, God. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will put your hedge of protection and wall of fire around them. Lord, the blessings, the blessing that only you can provide for our military men and women. And Lord, I pray, God, for our first responders. I pray, God, that you will touch their lives. Move, God. Take them, God. Uh, those that are, are sick. Uh, I pray, God, right now for healing in their bodies. I pray, God, for... Uh, those that in our community as making our community service oh a, a place that we can embrace because of all the things that happen we love you lord we give you thanks you touch south tacoma and we shall be touched in jesus name amen we love you come to the altar the fire